Illustrations can be super helpful in product design. Maybe you wanna include some little product illustrations in your designs, or you're presenting your work or sharing research and you wanna have some illustrations. Either way, they can be a really valuable asset, but maybe you're not an illustrator. Well, today I'm gonna to walk you through blush design where you can get access to lots of different illustrations. Before we jump into the tool, maybe you're working at a company that has dedicated in-house illustrators. And that's awesome. That's what I have at Uber and I often go to the illustration team with a request if I need a custom illustration for my project. But maybe you don't have that resource available or maybe you've worked with freelancers in the past or it's up to you to come up with the illustrations. Now you might be a pro illustrator and that's awesome. This tool then is definitely not for you. But if you're someone who is looking for access to illustrations to include in your work, then I think blush design is a great place to start. I stumbled upon the tool a few weeks ago and it is founded by Pablo Stanley, who is a very renowned illustrator in the design industry. He used to work at Envision and prior to that he was at Lyft and he's done a lot of really great and inclusive work for the design community. And so I'm really excited to see where he takes this. I think he just recently went full time on it. So I actually quit his job. So it's still in the early days and I'm just super excited to see where Pablo is going to take this tool. So let's have a look. Here is the Blush website and you can see that they have a lot of different illustrations available to use. What I really like is they have an artistic community and they actually feature their artists. Many of these illustration library tools often don't actually end up featuring the illustrator behind the work, which I think is such a shame. So I really like how Blush actually spotlights the illustrators behind the work and you can kind of get to know more about them and their style and see all of their illustrations that they have in this tool available. So you can either browse by artist or you can browse by collection. Here's some of the collections that they have. And you can click on any one and kind of see more of the illustrations and the characters and the compositions that they have within this collection. You'll see that some are locked, so there is a pricing plan. You can get access to the available ones for free, but if you want access to some of the locked illustrations or if you want to download the illustrations as SVG and then so have more finer control over them, then there is a $12 a month plan. I've mostly been using the tool for free and for me, it's kind of been fine. I think if you wanted to actually get access to illustrations that you want to put in the product, then maybe you'd want to consider paying for an actual plan. What I like about Blush is that you can kind of customize the illustration to meet your own needs. So let's try creating random. If I click on this, it'll pull up a random illustration that they have in the library and I can click on randomize and get it to kind of cycle through the different options that are available for this illustration. If I wanted to, I could be more specific by choosing different colors and even kind of changing the style of my illustration. In this case, I can change clothes of this character. I can also kind of change um, the bottom half of them, which I think is really cool that these illustrations are almost like designed and built like building blocks. And then you can kind of choose how you want to configure the character, which is really, really cool. So as I'm on the free plan, I could download this as a PNG if I wanted to. The quality is not super high, but like, again, it's fine if you just want to put it in a presentation or have it as a placeholder content to later be replaced or updated with more high resolution images or SVGs. So this is cool, but what's cooler is that Blush actually has plugins for both Figma and Sketch. So you can actually bring this straight into your design tool and use it there. So let me show you. I actually installed the Figma plugin, which you can get on the Figma community here, and it works pretty well. If I switch over to a Figma file that I have, let's say I want to put a placeholder illustration here on this persona slide. What I can do is I can open up the blush plugin so I can browse in here exactly as I can on the web. Maybe I want to browse by collection or again by artist. Let's say I want this standing illustration. I can just click on it and it's going to put that straight onto the artboard that I had selected. I can move it around and also resize it if I need to. Now from here again, I can randomize this illustration or maybe I want to customize it however I want. So let's choose a few different options here. 
I can even add a mask, which is very, very timely for the current global situation. Great, so now I have this illustration in here. I can download it as a small PNG. As I mentioned, you can't get super high resolution versions of this, but I feel like for this kind of presentation, like if I zoom in, you can see it's a little pixelated and it's just come in as a static image. So I can't actually uh, play with the individual layers. But for this context where maybe I'm just doing a presentation, I think it's fine. Super easy to use tool and I love the customization and sort of building block style of this tool. Again, it is free, but you can also get a paid plan for more control. I believe there's a 20% discount if you sign up for annual. And also just to mention, you can use the illustrations for commercial use and you can have unlimited downloads and you do not have to give any attribution to the artist. So all in all, I think that's a pretty good deal for $12 a month. And that's blush.design. As I mentioned, it's still kind of early for this tool, so they don't have a huge collection or a huge number of artists. I think there's less than 20 artists right now, but I'm super excited to see where Pablo takes this. And if you're an illustrator and you want to contribute to this tool, there is a form that you can go in and sign up from the website if you want to submit yourself. Uh, and maybe, who knows, you'll end up being a contributor to this tool. There are a lot of illustration library tools out there right now. It seems to be becoming quite a popular thing. Let me know in the comments if you've used a different one, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on this as well. And as always, if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one about this topic or get some advice about your career or growth, you can always book time with me on Superbeer. Catch you in another video, friend. Bye-bye.